Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 190k reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the chart. In this video, I will be speaking about AUD USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which is currently testing a quite strong level of previous monthly resistance in this case, from which all this move to the downside was created, which now that the market has broken it to the upside is turned support here. So as the market is testing previous monthly resistance turned support, we could expect some bullish price action to be created away from this support level. So from a monthly standpoint, everything seems quite bullish. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what we can see is that clearly we had a shift from a weekly bearish market from a trend perspective to now having a weekly bullish market. In fact, we went from creating lower lows and lower highs to now creating higher highs and higher lows. Now, as the market is creating higher highs and higher lows, we could expect more bullish continuation to be created away from this level. In fact, if we look closer, we can see that from a pattern standpoint, we now have a very clear impulse followed by this correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracements currently lining up exactly inside of this area. And if we extend this level to the left, we can see how this is also previous weekly horizontal resistance from which this move to the downside was created, which has now turned support here. So this actually means that currently the market is testing a confluence of support area from a weekly perspective, inside of which we have both the Fibonacci levels and this horizontal level of support. And inside of a confluence of support area, you would expect more institutional longing, which in turn would further increase the probabilities of a potential rejection to the upside away from this level. So from a weekly perspective as well, everything seems quite bullish. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily perspective, what we can see is that in the creation of this move to the downside, the market has also currently printed this M pattern. And in general, after the creation of an M pattern, what we could expect is a potential rejection to the upside for the completion of the M pattern at the neckline. So the previous support turned resistance from a daily perspective. So in this case, what we could expect is a potential rejection to the upside for the completion of this M pattern at the neckline. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the CO2 data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders, and we check the data precisely for the AUD, what we can see is that with the last reports, net positions have been massively increased. We went, in fact, from having minus 96.9K net positions all the way up to having minus 51.3K net positions with longs that have clearly been increased from 28K to 39K. And in the long run, shorts got decreased from 137K to 90.3K. So in the long run, institutions have been adding longs and closing shorts on AUD USD. And in fact, price has been trending higher. So as the market is testing this confluence of support on the weekly time frame and creating this M pattern here on the daily time frame, what I would expect in a situation like this? Well, first of all, if we see more institutional longing inside of this area, that would increase the probabilities of a potential rejection to the upside. But as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily time frames combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations, the best time frames are the intraday time frames. So 
for our end lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if the market will shift from an intraday bearish market as we have right now to an intraday bullish market, at that point, I would expect a potential rejection to the upside for the market to complete this M pattern here from a daily perspective. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in the description and in my bio. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete, all-inclusive mentorship program. And you will see me here that in this video, I break down exactly everything that you gain access to in this amazing mentorship program. And if you continue to scroll down the website, past the testimonials, you will see that you will have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign-up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out at least as soon as possible. The link is both in description and in my bio at transparentfxtrading.com and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you have any suggestions on any topics or pairs that you would like me to cover in the next videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.